consider a system with a two level paging scheme in which a regular memory access takes 150 nanoseconds and servicing a page fault takes 8 milliseconds. An average instruction takes 100 nanoseconds of CPU time and two memory accesses. The TLB hit ratio is 90% and the page fault rate is 1 in every 10,000 instructions. So what is the effective average instruction execution time? So this average instruction execution time will be composed of the time for address translation for each instruction, then the time for getting the operands from the memory for each instruction, then there will be the time that is required if there is a page fault and then the CPU execution time. So first of all comes the address translation time. So whenever an instruction has to be fetched, its address has to be translated and for that the TLB has to be used. So if the address or the page table is found in TLB, the address that is being we are looking for, that logical address is found in the TLB, then it's a hit and the, uh, the tra translation can be done in the TLB itself. Else we will have to access the page table and this page table now will be in the memory. Since it is a two level paging scheme, that means if there is a miss in the TLB, two times the memory will have to be accessed for accessing the page table and for the address translation. So if we are assuming that the TLB access time is zero because it is not given to us in the uh, example or the question. So the address translation for one memory access will be hit rate into the time required to access the TLB plus miss rate which is 1 minus h into the time required to access the page table in the memory. So 0 0.9 is the hit rate that has been given to us. We are assuming that the time for accessing the TLB is 0. So 0 0.1 is 1 minus h which is the miss rate into 2 times 150 because the memory access time is given to us as 150 and 2 times it will be accessed because it is a 2 level page table. So twice we will have to access the memory to go to the innermost page table. So if we compute this we get the address translation for one memory access as 30 nanoseconds. Now it's also given that for each instruction there are 2 memory accesses. So there will be 2 address translations. So this will be 30 into 2 60 nanoseconds. Now comes the time we have to calculate for getting the operands from the memory for each instruction. So we, since we know that there are two memory accesses, this is the time for address translation. But now to get those operands is the time that is required for twice the access to the memory, which is 150 into 2 300 nanoseconds. If there is a page fault for any instruction, which can happen one in 10,000 times, then the time required for servicing the page fault will be given by this for this is the page fault service time and this comes out to be 800 nanoseconds. We are multiplying by 10 to the power of 6 to convert this into nanoseconds. Also given is the average CPU execution time which is given is that for each instruction it takes 100 nanoseconds. So if we add all of these we get the average instruction executing, execution time time for address translation, time for fetching the operands or the data from the memory, time for servicing the page fault and the actual execution time. This comes out to be 1260 nanoseconds.